introduce people to our children when it's serious. If it ain't going nowhere, don't even get them involved. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't project my pseudo value. Pastor Jamal Bryant in the building, okay? Don't even get them involved. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't project, which is I have five girls. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, five girls. Yeah, yeah, Got yeah. It. So okay. I can't tell my ex-wife don't date, and no, I'm dating. You know what I'm saying? I can, <laughs> yeah, so we, we came to agreement that we only introduce people to our children when it's serious. Yeah, if it ain't going nowhere, don't even get them involved. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't project my pseudo values onto my ex-wife when I didn't hold a standard of morality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm behold the false prophet. Mm -hmm. uh, and so again, it's more important that I'm modeling it Mm -hmm. then I'm trying to lay down the law. Hey, I know I cheated, but don't be with nobody. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. yeah, ain't nobody going to take you seriously. And so that's why it's important on your side uh, to make sure that you are practicing what you preach. And I'll say this to you, Willie, 78% of grown preachers' kids don't go to church. Really? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so this is Jamal Bryant, who is a fiancé to uh, Kerry Turner. I brought that clip up for you guys to listen to what he said, right? So he was explaining oh, what, what are the dynamics between you and your ex-wife because they have kids. So according to his testimony, mind you, he's a pastor, and he says that they made this agreement with his ex-wife, okay, that don't introduce anybody unless if it's serious. According to him, he's like, okay, you know, I'm not going to tell her not to date because I'm out here dating. So I'm sitting over here. What is a pastor doing, dating, not with an intention to get married? What is that, you know? And then it's just like, okay, only when it's serious, then you're going to introduce. But meantime, you're shopping around. Like, I was just like, man, this is, this is not good. This is not wise. But, you know, now he's engaged now. So Jamal Bryant is engaged to Kerry Turner, who was uh, the co-pastor. So you have both of them are pastors at no birth in Atlanta. But you can see that, you know, just the seeds, just how the mentality of not wanting to hold the office of a pastor with, with, in high regard, okay? He's also divorced, and they divorced because he was the one who was cheating, and he was a pastor. So you have a pastor, married, cheating, got divorced, I mean, what are we doing out here? And he's still a pastor. What what is this? You know, what is this? So these are these 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 are the things. So what exactly will be coming out from that pulpit to the congregation? Hmm? What exactly will be coming out? Not only that, you have a team with women pastors. And by the way, she's not the only uh, woman pastor at that church. There's other female pastors at that church. So you see, it's just it's, it's unbiblical how they're doing things. And you can clearly see. And she actually likes uh, the Message Bible, by the way, Carrie Tan. And when she preaches, she preaches from the Message Bible. I'm like, you went to a seminar and nobody told you that this is not a Bible? What are we doing? So this is uh, what we have out here. So I wanted to bring that to you guys. <laughs> yep. Our standard is the scriptures. Okay, we don't care what the world says, right? If it doesn't conform to the scriptures... We, we don't care, okay? We have, uh, we don't care what it is, right? We go by whatever the scripture teaches. So I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to uh, like this video and don't forget just to leave a comment. Comments, comment, comment. It helps out with the channel, okay? All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.